Thank you, Sonny. It's a pleasure indeed to be here with you today, covering backyard soccer. Today's matchup is between the awesome ostriches and the mighty boots. The boots are playing wonderfully. Let's watch them play for another win today. I know they've got it in them, so let's get this show on the road. Did you guys miss me? What's up guys, Rupdad here, and welcome to another installment of Backyard Soccer, Rise of the Mighty Boots. Before we get started here, I need to give you guys a very deep and sincere apology. To make a long story short, my, re my life has been a lot more chaotic and hectic than usual, even in past weeks, months, whatever, when I've had trouble finding time to record and stuff, it's never been this bad. There's just been a couple of developments that I would rather not talk about because they're really personal, family-related stuff that I would prefer not to share on recording with you guys. I hope you guys can understand. But, hopefully I can start turning that around. Starting with getting back on track with this. So, let's go ahead and get into things. My Mighty Boots are coming off our third straight off-the-wall indoor invitational championship. The team we beat in the finals? These guys, the awesome ostriches, who ruined a potential for history when they knocked out the blue all-stars. And these guys are going to come at me right out of the gate again. So, let's see if getting their asses handed to me... Yeah. Their ass is handed them by me twice has taught them any new tricks. No, considering the fact that Pablo's just coming right out of the gate, I don't think they have. Thank you, Keisha! And there's a goal. Right out of the gate. Let's see. Around the league, Cheeses are up in the Chihuahuas, All Stars are up in the Chickens, Sea Cows are up in the Egg Headers. Eh, nothing too surprising. Oh, stay with her, Pablo. Right, I forgot how this game randomly cuts out sound. Don't ask me why it does that, I wouldn't be able to tell ya. Pablo's just not having a good... I mean, I know we just, the game just started, but he's not really having a good day shot-wise. That's it, guys. Double team and cut him off. No, stay with her, Pablo. Look, Pete, look, uh, well, that lane got closed off real quickly. Until Jacinda came into the mix, and... That's it, Speed Demon. That away, Pete! Finally! Something good happened for Pete Wheeler. Wow, those All-Stars are really angry that they only... They didn't even take third place in uh, this season's Off the Wall Indoor Invitational. They are just hammering the chickens. And a sub. Why am I not surprised? I wonder, is, is Andreas Gibson in the game or is he out? Yeah. Um, hard to t He might be in, but it looks the thing. So it's hard to tell because these AI, the AI players. They just look so... It's hard to tell, really tell them apart from one another, in all honesty. That's always been... Well, I guess it's not really a flaw, because realistically, considering this game was originally meant for kids, what kid actually cares about the opposing team? They just care about their own, guy, their own players. Well, that was almost advantageous for me and disastrous for them. And they're going to make another sub. Uh, I is that a corner for me? Well, there goes Andreas Ibsen. He was in. Not that Pablo's really putting much more of a lead on him. Okay. Corner kick. Here's what I'm going to do. Just send it to Pablo. Pablo! What the hell? Okay. Ignoring the fact that the bowling ball got blocked... Well, that power up looked my. Okay. Did my eyes deceive me? Because I could have sworn I saw the bowling ball, soccer ball, 
goes straight into the goal. It hit the top of the net. And it didn't... Really? Okay. This is just getting ridiculous now. I guess I'm taking a 2-0 lead into the locker room, but... Okay. What? Uh, that is just mystifying to me. Uh, I'm probably going to have a replay of that showing on screen at some point for you guys, because... What the hell happened? Alright, back to gameplay. In case you guys are curious, I still got Pablo in because I want to try and get him a few more goals just to ex <coughs> extend his lead on Andreas Ibsen in the uh, goal scoring category. If he can get into the goal today, which this game seems hell bent on not allowing him to do for some reason today. What the hell? And I got Ashley and Sydney in for uh, Keisha and uh, Pete. Oh, nice try, Ashley. Okay. Pablo. Come on. I know you're frustrated over not getting a goal in today, but that's not the way to show it. Get in there, Pablo. That away, buddy. Now, let's see if we can fix this curse you seem to be having today. It's about time. That's all I can say. It is about friggin' time. Um, nothing's really changed here and the fact the egg hairs were are really fighting with the sea cows. But the sea cows still hold the lead, so I can't get too overexcited about that. Marching down the field is Pablo Sanchez. Scoring goals at will. Screw the friggin' curse that was supposedly put on him. Well, I guess it is Friday the 13th, and apparently Christmas tunes need to uh, make their presence felt on Friday the 13th. Andreas Ibsen's back in. Ooh, this should be fun. But I doubt it's really going to matter, because... No, I actually want to preserve this if possible. Getting a shutout on the ostriches will be the final nail in the coffin. And I would very much like to see that. Talk, you two. Stay with Apollo. Nicely done, Ahmed! Amir! Let's get it out of here! Talk, you guys! There we go. That's alright, Sydney. It's alright. Let it roll out. That's fine. All is good in the hood. That was a questionable throw in. That's it, Pablo just in a swarm. Alright. Oh, now you're gonna call off sides, Clanky, really? I'm still waiting to see, to try and figure out. Yeah, I'm still sitting here trying to figure out what Clanky's definition of offsides is, because he makes some really questionable offsides calls sometimes. Ah, uh, I was hoping Sydney might be able to join the fun. Both the Wilders only have one goal in the season. Uh, Amir. Oh, that's yours. Easy, Amir. Take that. Send it downfield. Eh, he's going to get it. Oh, well. I'm not too concerned, because at this point, it's, I think I've done enough damage. It's just, yeah, and the game's almost over. It's basically just preserving the shutout. Which I have done... Wow, the egg headers tied the sea cows right in the nick of time. So that's going to lower the sea cows. Uh, sp that draw is not going to help them out too much. One point, but that's about it. All-Stars crushed the chickens. Jesus smacked around the chihuahuas. And my mighty boots with the shutout on the awesome ostriches. And assuming the rest of my season plays out the way I think it will in my head, which is just my boots getting wins for the rest of the season... 
I think we pretty much sealed the deal. Uh, the Premier Division is kind of ours, but I'm not going to get too overconfident. Uh, Pablo Sanchez has 15 goals. Oh, Andreas Ibsen's in a four-way tie for second now. Probably more, but we only lost the first five here in the in the uh, Backyard Soccer League. Keith with five assists. Pablo, 16 points, 32 shots. 22 of them being on goal. That doesn't sound like a good percentage to me. Jocinda still with one penalty shot taken and scored. Two hat tricks for Pablo. Probably could get him more. Ahmed, eight wins as keeper. Only three goals allowed in. 62% save rating. Tied with Cindy Chang of the Sea Cows. I'm gonna need to fix that. Six shutouts, and he's the only goalie who's gotten any shutouts this season. Ahmed is super goalie. Alright, so I think it's pretty clear that I'm kind of giving up on trying to stick to this schedule. I'm going to do my best to just get all the rest of the games up at this point. So, we'll just have to wait and see how things play out on that front. Regardless, the Scrambling Egg Headers are next on the chopping block for my Mighty Boots. 1-6-1, one, and one, but they did manage to just tie the Sea Cow, so maybe they're going to step up and surprise me. Well, we'll find out one way or another. I've been Rupt Dead. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time. And I swear it's not going to be as long of a wait this time. I will do my best to make sure of that. Again, my apologies for the wait beforehand.